showdown in election bound Karnataka with Congress's DK Shiv Kumar caught in the cash rain and the BJP of course expectedly charging at the Congress Neta. This is the big war of words because the Congress is now claiming <coughs> that the BJP is planning raids on Congress Neta's now ahead of elections. DK Shiv Kumar has also said 1000 IT officials have been sent to Karnataka to raid. And this remember with Basavraj Bhumai also hits back to say that uh, if at all that happens that's going the IT is a election uh, that uh, that it is a poll protocol that there are checks and balances that are done. Basavraj Bhuma has added Congress is just guilty of corruption for 60 years. It's not just about few of these days. Remember both Netas very strong and scathing in their remarks. I want to go across now to Sagai Raj joining me for the latest on that. Sagai, that's a big claim. He's already preparing ground as Shiv Kumar says that uh, IT raids are going to take place on us is what he's claiming. Basavraj Bhuma says well, there are checks and balances that have to be done ahead of elections. What's happening on the ground? Sagai, can you hear me? As Sagai Raj continues to be with us, basically the Congress party has said, amid the whole cash rain controversy where he was seen showering as artists, as he claimed, who were receiving the 500 rupees currency notes, he says now IT raids are being planned on him. Basavraj Bhumai says that this is just protocol. Uh, joins me from Bengaluru on this. Uh, Sagai Bhumai says Congress is guilty of corruption for 60 years, not just within these days. Sagai, over to you. What exactly is happening on the ground? All right, we'll try and get the network back with Sagai Raj in just a short while. That's the big war of words coming in from the election bound state. Elections on 10th of May. But by then, remember, this is high stakes for both the BJP and the Congress. The Congress claims. IT raids on them. Bomai says if there are IT officer, officials, it's just for checks and balances as an election protocol. Let's listen into what the Chief Minister said. See, yeah, now election commission is supervising. And as per the election commission directions, all the anti-election uh, methods people use will be monitored by election commission and all the all the agencies are put in for, force. In fact, IT officers are um, nominated in each district, officially district. They have been given target Let me Let me complete. I heard your... Uh, officially they have been there for last now more than one week. There is nothing new. These people are afraid of their bloody guilt. They have slushed money. For 60 years money they have slushed everywhere. And they know that this is going to come out. So they are doing just a preventive uh, action for this. If they are, they, they are not having any black money, why they should worry about it? Sir, and, also and unnecessarily creating apprehension proves that they got slush money. Sir, and also Sudip is a star campaigner today, sir. Sudip is a star campaigner today. I've been talking to him. Sir, 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 All right, so that's Basavraj Bhumai speaking. Uh, this, remember, is amid the war of words that's taking place in election-bound Karnataka. A lot of activity in the state. And we have big news coming in. This, remember, with the war of words that's on between the BJP and the Congress party over the IT raids that are taking place. This with regard to the Congress party claiming that the BJP will set off, because it's also at the center, will set off the income tax raids against us. There are 1,000 IT officials in the state BJP and Bomai says it's just part of election protocol. We have some big news coming in. Let's take a look.